today we are going to discuss worksheet 16 for the date 10 8 2030 now we are starting with our new chapter that is electricity so what is electricity it is known as flow of electrons when we say flow of electrons actually we are saying flow of charge because electrons are having a particular charge over it so what is charge charge is a fundamental property of an atom why we are saying it is a fundamental property because of that only we are saying that the particular atom is having the charge body or not so we have read that atoms are constituted of subatomic particles electron proton and neutron and electric charge is the property of that matter that causes it to experience force because of the charge they experience force so these are the property of charge charge may be positive or negative okay two types of charges like charge repel each other and unlike attract each other that means if we are having two positive charge and we want to bring them closer they will not come closer they will repel each other likewise if you are having two negative charge and you want to bring them closer they will not come closer and they will go away this is known as repulsion but one positive and one negative charge will be showing attraction so what is the SI unit of charge it is coulomb the SI unit of charge is coulomb and the charge on an electron is said to be negative of 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 coulomb the main important question which comes out to be we have to tell number of electrons present in one coulomb of charge which can be easily calculated with the formula q is equal to ne where q is what it is the coulomb and number of electrons n and e is the charge so by using this formula we can easily calculate the number of electron on one coulomb of charge so when we are saying one coulomb of charge what we have done we have shifted this n to towards this and e sorry and it will become to be n is equal to q upon e so what is q we are having one coulomb of charge and what is e it is 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 as you know this 10 raised to power minus 19 will go upwards and it will become positive 10 raised to power minus 19 this point when we remove it becomes 10 so when we divide 10 over 16 it comes out to be 0.625 so this 0.625 can be written as 6.25 into 10 raised to power 18 so this is your answer 6.25 into 10 raised to power 18 is your answer so next part in this is what is electric current electric current is expressed by the amount of charge flowing through a particular area in unit time that means any area in which the amount of charge is flowing is said to be the electric current if we say the formula the I is the symbol which is used for the electric current and amount of charge is said to be q and time t so the formula becomes i is equal to q upon t so here the si unit of electric current is ampere and it is named after the french scientist andre mare ampere so when we have to define it we can write it like this one ampere current is said to be when one coulomb of charge is flowing through area in one second one coulomb of charge is flowing through air area in one second or we can say when in one second one coulomb of charge is flowing through area it is said to be one ampere one milliampere is known as 10 raised to minus 3 and one microampere is said to be 10 raised to minus 6 now the instrument which is used to measure the current is said to be a meter you have to remember that a meter is always connected in series in a circuit so this a meter is a instrument which is used to measure the current flowing through any electrical circuit direction of flow of current is always you have to remember that it is always shown from positive terminal of the cell towards the negative terminal and it is very important that you have to always show the direction of current that is from positive to negative next is electrical potential electrical potential is actually the work done for bringing a charge from infinity to a point that is known as electric potential the work done in current carrying conductor to move a unit positive charge from infinity to any point is called electric potential so that is v is equal to w upon q so this work done w is equal to 
that is the formula we will read in the next class the work done that is bringing a unit positive charge from infinity to a point now we come to the question answers only two questions are there one is the numerical so what is the SI unit of charge and current it is SI unit of ch charge is coulomb and the SI unit of current is ampere so second question it is the numerical which is based on your formula i is equal to q upon t we can easily solve it down so i is equal to q upon t what we have to find out find the amount of electric charge that means we have to find out q in this so q is equal to i into t and what is i it is 0.5 and t it is 10 minutes so 10 into 60 it comes out to be 300 coulombs so this will be your answer hope you like this video kindly do share and subscribe the channel